All right, what's up? Welcome to September. This is Tim Sykes with another video lesson in a very, very down market today. Um, I've locked in a few hundred dollars in profits, USMN. Uh, if you remember, I shorted it yesterday because of the erroneous article claiming that they won a Tesla deal, which the author later corrected that he got the ticker wrong. The company announced a denial. And I shorted a little bit, and it was a very small position, and I made roughly 45% on my money overnight. Um, I guess I didn't even have to cover it. USMN is down to five and a half cents, and I covered it at roughly seven cents. Um, so there's even more downside, which is cool. Uh, but just a few hundred dollars, it's nothing huge. Um, but I like showing you trades like this because this is the exact kind of trade that can build your account over time, especially when you have a small account. Obviously, it wasn't the ideal setup. You know, the stock had already dropped a ton. Um, you know, only some brokers had shares to short, but it's a good educational example to show you what happens when there's an erroneous article. And there will always be erroneous articles because, again, reporters are not the smartest and they are paid to break news. They are not paid to be thorough. So if you ask a reporter to, you know, focus on fast breaking news, sometimes they're going to get the ticker wrong and that opens up opportunity. It's just a waiting game until the next one. Um, I also had a small trade today, basically a scratch on STXS. Uh, I thought that it could morning spike, and we got a little bit of a spike you know, from my buy in the 180s, uh, and it went up to, to 205, but pretty much straight down after that, I got out roughly break even, um, namely just because the market is dying. I mean, if you look at the S&P 500, I mean, it's just, it ha it's had a few spikes also, but it is down roughly two and a half percent. September is the worst performing month of the year. And it's very important for you to recognize that, you know, in my STXS trade alert, I said, you know, and, and I've been saying this in the past few weeks, when there is a potential morning spike, if it does not spike the way you think, you need to get out, whether it's a small gain or a small loss, you need to play it safe. Uh, there was another play uh, this morning, and it was, where was it? Uh, too many stocks that I'm watching. STXS and, well, FORD was actually a, a good morning spiker. This had a little spike and then a follow-up spike. Uh, TRVN was uh, a nice delayed spike, and this is holding near the highs. This is on my watch list. Uh, so we did have a few successful spikes. There was one other one that I was watching that, that was a failed morning spike. Oh, AXPW, my bad. Um, and so this had a morning spike too, and it turned out to just be a fake out. Uh, yesterday, if you remember VTL, this had a morning spike yesterday and kept fading, and BLFS also. Uh, had a morning spike and kept fading. So this is a very common pattern. So it's okay to buy it and, and try and aim for a morning spike. Um, perhaps it's better to, to even short it if the morning spike fails. Maybe that's the new pattern. Um, but you have to recognize what the market is doing. And you need to study the past. You know, you can't forget about plays from yesterday because plays from yesterday are good indicators of plays today. Um, and that's how I basically broke even on STXS. And I'll do this trade again and again. I don't mind being wrong. I'm wrong uh, roughly 30% of the time, but because I play it so safe, because I say, okay, rule number one, if the stock is not doing exactly what I want, get out. It's very difficult for me to lose big. And, you know, that is the main problem in markets like today. I mean, people are just losing big. You have to think about all these hedge funds and mutual funds. I mean, I'm reading about these hedge funds that, that are losing 10, 15 percent in a month because they have to remain invested. You as an individual do not have to remain invested. You can short sell. You can go to cash. Uh, you have a lot of options, and that is why you should be outperforming. That's why it doesn't matter when I say, oh, September is the worst month of the year. Does that mean I shouldn't trade? No. It should just mean that you should recognize what time of year it is and adapt your trading. And I'm so proud of so many of you students uh, who are getting it. Oliver uh, in BAS at 455 out at 508. A lot of you guys are asking, why do I highlight you know little trades like this? This is a little $168 in profit. The answer is because trades like this will make you a millionaire. When you can make 10% on your money, whether it's $168 or $1,068 or $10,068 or $168,000, as your account grows, if you keep on focusing on making 10, 20, 30, 40% again and again, you know, this kind of a play 
I took a very small position, but I made 45% of my money. If you do that over and over and over and over and over again, along with being wrong sometimes, it's very difficult not to grow your accounts. And that's what, you know, that's why we have these sales, this back to school sale. If you sign up to these newsletters and you watch the video lessons and you sign up to these DVDs, namely trading tickers and how to make millions, I think both of these are must watches. Um, you know, this is Tim Grittani's DVD, and he talks about how he's taken 1500 and turned it into $2.8 million now. And my How to Make Millions kind of goes over these patterns and rules. And all of these DVDs, you can't go wrong investing in your education. So we have this 50% and 70% off sale to inspire you to want to study. You know, everyone likes a sale, I understand. If this inspires you to study, great, because the lessons in these DVDs are going to help you. And they're going to help you make trades like like this one with Tommy REXX bought on the dip, 297 sold at 326 for 170 bucks. Congrats, you made two more bucks than than Oliver. These little trades are the ones that are going to make you. Here's Eddie uh, made 870 dollars on AXPW, and he shows the little uh, net realized gain. That's fantastic, Eddie. Good job. Here's Scott made 990 dollars. Um, here is Jose made $1,300 in at 197 out at 260 Now off to chemistry class. Like, <laughs> that's freaking awesome that Jose can do that. Um, and here was my 46% profit I tweeted. Uh, Tim Grittani is still banking. You know, he made 12000 the other day, and he says, very sloppy and off my game, and he made twelve grand. Um, here is uh, some guy who, who posted this today, uh, R-Y-U-U Shin. Uh, in and Ford at 168 out at 190 3,000 shares so he made like 600 bucks that's freaking awesome okay that's in a market where you know nothing is really spiking and Ford spiked quite nicely no news um, but this is the market that we're in where certain stocks earnings winners you have to watch them over and over again because they can really keep spiking um, and here is uh, one more from Tim Grittani where he made 6600 on AXPW. So I, I don't want you to get confused. You know, when you see Tim Grittani making 6600 on AXPW versus, you know, somebody like, uh, where was it? Um, like Eddie making $870. There's no difference. There's really, really no difference. You know, obviously the, there's different trades, different chart patterns, different prices different position sizing, different dollar amounts, but the point is when you make $870 or you make, you know, $6,600, it grows your account. And this kind of sniper trading, one trade at a time, um, absolute return strategy as opposed to diversification or investing for the long term, um, you know, this is the kind of trading that I want you to really partake in. And I know it's weird. Um, I know that you know, my strategies aren't very mainstream, um, but as more and more people report these kinds of gains, and even if you're wrong, reporting small losses, which is fine, I highlight small losses too, um, you know, that is how you can really grow an account exponentially. And this will probably take me years, if not decades, before, you know, this really goes mainstream. So the question is not, you know, who's going to be the next millionaire, it's who are going to be the next millionaires and one by one, as you guys become millionaires, people will start begin realizing that this is a strategy that, you know, Tim Grittani, me, Michael Good, Mark Crook, Asim John, a few other people have made six and seven figures already with this kind of strategy. It's not because we're that special. Um, it's not because we're that smart or that good at math. It's just because we've learned how to play this volatility in the penny stock market and use it to our advantage. And, you know, that's, that's the name of the game over and over day after day, how I made nearly $20,000 while I was in Europe, sick as shit and searching for wedding venues. You know, it's, it's so weird. I, I can't, uh, you know, say that enough because it is weird. Um, trading low price stocks that everyone else hates. But if you learn to go long, if you learn to go short, and if you really watch these video lessons that are included in these newsletters and watch these DVDs. I mean, the, the patterns are the exact same. A lot of people think, oh, you know, if you teach them, the, the patterns will stop working. 
I mean, I capitalize on maybe one one thousandth of the patterns and the, the profits that are possible here. You know, I, I had STXS today, totally missed AXPW, totally missed FORD. And this is just one morning where I was actually trading and I chose the wrong stock. And it's okay to choose the wrong stock. You know, I, I made my bet and now I have to, you know, sleep with it. But the point is, is that there's so much opportunity and we are just scratching the surface. And the way to really maximize your profits is through studying these patterns. Um, you know, Tim Grittoni, he spent hundreds of hours cataloging all of the, the patterns that he trades. And there's just a couple of them, but he gives dozens and dozens of examples. And I give dozens and dozens of examples. And, you know, by the end of, of you watching these DVDs, it's really difficult for you not to understand these patterns. And if you have any questions, you trading challenge students, I'm giving my Q&A webinar tomorrow, uh, my weekly webinar. I'm feeling, you know, not 100%, as you can hear in my voice, but 95%, so I can give a webinar. And, uh, you know, ask me any questions you want. And if you're not in my trading challenge, get in the trading challenge, because now Tim Grittani, Mark Crook, and Michael Good are all giving uh, webinars, so you can ask us all questions about, you know, what's made us successful, what we've had issues with, and it's all about getting better uh, familiar, familiarized with this kind of patterns and, and this kind of trading. So congrats to everybody who did nail the Ford uh, spike or the AXPW spike. Now we have another piece of crap company, uh, ASTI, which is spiking, you know, 100% today. And this is, with the, the Dow is down 400 points right now. So, you know, penny stocks will always be spiking. Um, there's always going to be plays down here in the gutter, and it's pretty freaking cool. And as more people lose money, you know, in the guessing game markets, and they start becoming CNBC viewers and, you know, lose more money because, frankly, that stuff just doesn't work, you have to adapt to what strategies work. And trading the volatility, buying some of these penny stocks when they start spiking, uh, shorting them when they've spiked too much, that two simple step strategy really, really works over time. And obviously, sometimes you're not going to find shares to short. Sometimes you're going to miss a spike. Sometimes you're going to miss time it. It's okay to screw up. I'm not perfect. And a lot of people are surprised that, by that because they're like, wait, Tim, like you mess up like every day. Like you're terrible. And it's not that I'm terrible. That's everybody. Everybody messes up. I seem to be one of the few though who is proud about it and you know shares it transparently. Most traders, unfortunately, especially in the penny stock niche, don't want to share their trades openly. They don't want to be transparent because transparency comes with a lot of issues, you know, from haters. Um, to people betting against you on trades, um, to just endless issues. But for the good of the community and for the good of your education, I have to be transparent. When I make a loss on a trade, when I screw up, when I miss you know, an opportunity, that's a good lesson for you. So I'm not afraid of the haters or you know, criticism. I know that I'm not perfect. I know that I'm very far from perfect. But I also know that this strategy that I teach and that I employ every day has made me a multimillionaire and has now made my top students multimillionaires. So you can never, ever, ever take that away from us. And it's just a question of, you know, how many more of you are going to study and have the right mentality and have the right attitude so that you can partake in this. This kind of, you know, spike is not random. This happens every single day, even if the Dow is down 400 points in a day. Um, and the chat room nailed the ASTI. Uh, run, you know, TRVN was in my watch list as a potential runner, and right when it took out the uh, yesterday's after hours highs, you know, around 890, that's proof freaking sweet. Um, somebody tweeted me or messaged me, I don't even know, I get so many messages these days, but somebody said that they bought right on the breakout at 890, and they sold it, I think, at like 970, and they made like 7, 8% on their money inside of an hour. That's awesome. I totally missed it, but my watch list, you know, had it, and because certain students are prepared, they bank. So, you challenge students, I will see you in the uh, webinar tomorrow, 4 to 6 p.m. Eastern. Please come with questions. The rest of you guys, I'll see you in the chat room. Um, again, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm still feeling a little, uh, little sickly, but uh, I'm getting better. I'm on the mend, so I'll be ready for more plays. Thanks.